Here I'm going to create the table of contents for a report. I left the second page of the report blank and here is where I'm going to insert it. I'm going to go to the insert tab at the top of the screen. I'm then going to the very last option which is table of contents. Here we have two options. The first is a normal typical table of contents. The second will be hyperlinks, meaning that if you click the name of the section, it will bring you to that page. For this video, I'm going to choose both of them to show you how they work. Now to add page numbers, I'm going to go to insert again. I'm going to select page number and since I don't want a page number on the title page, I'm going to pick this one. Next, I'm going to go to all of the titles in my report. I'm going to select them with my mouse and then change the type of text that they are here. Each of the titles should be selected as one of the header options. Here, I'm choosing header 2. If I scroll back up to my table of contents and click the refresh button, I can see my changes. If I click one of the section names in the hyperlink table of contents, it will take me to that page. This next section has several subsections. I'm going to select header 2 for the main title, and I'm going to select header 3 for each of the subsection titles. If I scroll back up to my table of contents and hit refresh, you can see that the table was formatted correctly. You can use this method to create subsections within your subsections as well. I hope that this video helped you understand the basics of creating a table of contents in a Google Docs document. If this video helped you in any way, please like, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.